Welcome back everybody. In today's video, I am going to be changing the engine air filter for my Nissan Rogue 2019. I recently went to get another oil change, and I don't know if you guys remember from my last video, they wanted to charge me $80 to change an air cap filter. This time they said they wanted to charge me $65 to change the engine filter. Um, and the, on the last video, we ended up paying 10 bucks or so, or so for the air filter, so you guys can watch that video, I'll find a link down below. And for this one, we ended up paying about $26 after taxes for the uh, engine filter. And we're gonna see if I, we can do it ourselves because I've never done this before. I don't really work on cars. Um, but to save a little bit of money, I'll, I'll do some stuff. Okay, so this is the air filter I ended up buying. I actually went to AutoZone. Wait, was it AutoZone? One of those advanced auto parts or AutoZone ordered for a 2019. This is what they look like. It's just a square. I'm used to seeing like, like I've always owned like Civics, right? So I'm used to seeing like the rounded ones, but yeah, this is what they look like. We're gonna open this up and take a look under the hood. Where's the stick thingy? There's supposed to be a stick thingy somewhere. Is it on the hood? Oh, come on. It's on the hood. Oops, okay. No, that's not it. Is this one? Nope. I'm not too sure. <laughs> All right, then. Okay, look. So just just looking at this motor, I you I don't I don't know. Like I don't think anybody that's never been under here would ever know where the heck the air filter goes. Usually on other cars, it's like a big cone or something on this side or on this side. I had to look up. I had to Google like where the location of this thing was. The location of the air filter is actually right there, right there. So we have to get to there. Um, and it looks like it's gonna be us. We, we're gonna have to take this kind of apart. So uh, let's go ahead and do that. All right. So it looks like there's these little tab things or plastic things that are holding this together. Now, at least from my experience from the uh, uh, mother cars, you, you kind of just have to take a flathead and pop this up. I don't have a flathead on hand right now. I don't know where I, what I did with it. I'm just gonna use the tip of uh, this, uh, this thing, just something flat, you know. And then just stick it under. Ah. Okay, do it on the side. And then pull up on the little tab. And it should come right up. So it has these little grooves. I kind of just stuck it in there and it, it came right up. We put this off to the side. Okay, we're on the other side now. Um, for this to come off, I, there's a clip right here. It looks like I need to remove. Maybe? Yeah, it looks like it's attached to that, so let's wiggle this out. There it goes. Look at that! So you pop this a little bit forward and then you just kind of wiggle the whole thing out. This kind of this came off pretty easily. Hey, there's the battery. Well you look at that. It's the air filter. Let's point at it and laugh how dirty it is. Wow, oh, that's pretty dirty. Um all right, sweet. So far, it's not so bad. I've never done this before, so I, uh, you know, it is it is good because then you can kind of see somebody's first-hand experience of, of what they have to go through. All right, remember, sixty-five dollars, right? So, uh, and that's not including the air filter. Like that's just the labor that they were charging. So just keep that in mind. Okay, so this to me, common sense, obviously, to open this up. To me, it, I see clips, right? So I'm just gonna pull on these clips. There we go. There's another one somewhere. Okay, there's another clip on this side, it looks like, and there's some wires here, so just be careful with these wires. Always be careful working around wires. Pull that, oh, there it is. No way, is that literally it? Oh my God. Okay, so I do notice that there is a certain way that this goes on. There's like a, a, a slant or some kind of Group. I don't know. I don't know what to call this, um, but there's something here. It goes in one way, so I'm gonna try to go match the match it with the other one. Yeah. So that matches. All right, cool. Let's remove this thing. Wow, this is it's pretty dirty. Looks gross. And then we'll put this back in. But first, let me see if I can find some stuff in here. All right. So I ended up grabbing my compressor, so I can just kind of blow whatever is in there out.
Okay. Now we're gonna stick this right back in there, just like the other one. Just like that. And now we just have to work backwards and put the clips back on. So put it in like this. That clip goes on. Like that, and then this clip on the other side. We'll put the wire back where it was just for the sake of keeping it exactly how it was. And now we put this back on. Um, and now this just goes back on the way we took it off. Right? I think. I think that's right. Okay. Looks like it's not going all the way in because it's not um, all the way down. So we're gonna try to push it down a little bit more. Okay, so it looks like you actually have to line up this little this little um, gap here with these here all the way around. So I think that's what I'm doing wrong. So let's try to line those up and see if it goes. Okay, I'm pretty sure I'm lined up now. And let's go down. There we go. All right, that's good. See? Boop, 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 boop. It's flush. Now let's put this back on and we'll pull this up. Put that in like that and then just press down on it and we're good. So as you can see, that was not that bad at all. Um, if I knew what I was doing, obviously it would have taken me a lot less time. But if you really think about it, you open up the hood, you take off that little clip part, right? You lift off the whole plastic thing two clips after that, you change the filter, put everything back. That doesn't take a long time. That doesn't take probably more than 10 minutes to do, right? So yeah, do I, do, am I glad that I saved money just doing it myself? Yes, of course I am. I'm, I, I really don't wanna pay somebody $60 for, in labor for 10 minutes. It doesn't make any sense. Um, and it also doesn't make any sense that they're gone for like an hour when you tell them to put it on. Some places do that, some places do not. Obviously, uh, where I have been going, it's, it's, it's happened twice now, but it's, um, it's a learning experience, and I'm glad that I'm actually learning to work on my own car and making sure that I save some money. Anyways, thanks for watching, everybody. I'm gonna clean this up a little bit, um, and I'll see you on the next video. I hope this helps somebody out there. Um, if it's gonna be your first time working on it, as you can see, it's not that hard. Um, so, take care, bye.